Welcome to the vBulletin training video on installation. Our first step after we've already downloaded the software is to extract it. I'm going to right click and choose Extract All to start the extraction wizard. Now that the files are extracted, we need to navigate to the Upload folder. Once here, we need to rename the front end configuration file to config.php. Right click Rename, then change it to be a .php file. Once this is done, open the file in your editor of choice. We're using Notepad2 here. We need to set the site's URL and the core directory URL. Since our website here is mywebsite.com and we're installing it to the root, we need to fill out http dot dot slash slash www dot mywebsite dot com for the site URL. Then we need to do the same for the core URL, but with the core directory after. Lastly, we need to set the system path to the core folder. I know here it happens to be slash home slash vbulletin slash public underscore html slash core. Contact support if you need help with this step. Once done, save and close the file. Next, navigate to the core, includes directory, and locate the config.php.new file. This is our core config.php file. Rename the config.php.new file to config.php. Use the same method as before with the front end config file. Next, open the file in your editor of choice. We're going to need to add, at a minimum, our database name, database error email, database username, database username's password. If you do not know this information, check with your web host on our online docs related to MYSQL. Once you're done ed editing, save the file. We're ready to upload. You should take a moment and navigate back to the upload folder. I'm going to use stick my folder to the left half of the screen to make it easier when we're ready to upload. Open your FTP client of choice. We're using FileZilla here. You'll need to enter your domain name, username, password. I'm using SFTP here so I need to use port 22. Most of the time you won't need to change this. Click Quick Connect. Once we're connected we need to navigate to the public underscore HTML folder since this is my website root folder in the FTP client. Here I'm going to stick my FTP client to the right half of the screen. Now that we can see our FTP client and our vBulletin upload folder highlight all of the files in the upload folder and drag and drop them into the public underscore HTML folder in the FTP client. Now we play the waiting game. The files will take a while to upload depending on your connection. We've time lapsed some of the content here. As you can see the upload completed, we need to go to the install location for vBulletin which is shown here. Yours may be different. You see me here entering my customer number. Then I click enter install system. Once here, I can click begin install to start the installer itself. Here we can see what is exactly happening. I've enabled show details, which gives a readout of each step as it happens. In the first prompt, we have the VB title, the title of your forum, the webmaster's email, which defines which address users receive email from, and the core URL, which 
It does not normally require a change. The next prompt covers cookie related settings. You do not need to change anything. Now we're going to create the first administrator account. You'll need to enter a username, password, and email. Now we're almost done. We're going to time lapse here again and speed things up. Once the install is complete, we have one last step as the error page notes. We need to delete our install.php file. So back in our FTP client, we're going to navigate to the core, install folder, and remove the install.php file. Once done, we'll refresh the admin CP page and log in. Thank you for choosing vBulletin 5 Connect.